Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried saying that I wasn't right. Where do I even start with this? <laughs> this has to be a joke, guys. This literally has to be a joke. Uh, I thought this was an April Fool's type of joke or something like that, fan-made. But honestly, it's official. Godzilla, X-Kong, The New Empire, 2024 figures have been revealed by SH Monster Arts. And honestly, this is the laziest thing I've ever seen. This is ridiculous. At this point, is Monster Arts even trying? It has that horrendous head sculpture that nobody wants on Godzilla. This is literally the same Godzilla 2019, 2021. It's just a repaint. I cannot believe Monster Arts really, really are selling this as official. They're literally the same sets from Godzilla vs. Kong. It's only a repaint. This is honestly the laziest job ever. They didn't even bother to switch up the articulation. Uh, all they did was repaint them, call it a day. Laziest job ever. I'm not supporting this. And honestly, people out there shouldn't be supporting this type of work. The more you support this, the more companies get away with this type of thing. And they will deliver the most laziest job ever. Honestly, I'm just going to skip Monster Arts and I'm going with Haya Toys. This is extremely disappointing to see. Um, I was expecting to see a different face expression on Kong, on Godzilla. They should have at least updated the head sculpture on Godzilla. That head sculpture has been the worst that we've seen for years and years. And they appear to not care about what the community has to say. I'm not sure why they don't do anything to really improve their figures. Laziest job ever. Honestly, when I saw this... I was like, wait a second, this has to be fan-made. It has to be fan-made, right? Somebody made a freaking joke. And the fact that I can go and grab my Godzilla and Kong, repaint them, and say that I have the brand new Godzilla and the brand new Kong from Godzilla x Kong is ridiculous right now. Even for Godzilla, no new changes. It is the same thing, and oh my god. Monster Arts is so predictable. A few months ago, last year, we called it. Everybody was like joking around saying Monster Arts is going to release a brand new Godzilla. And somebody made like a fan post about this. And it turns out to be true. Honestly, Monster Arts is very, very predictable. So disappointing. Anyways, let's get to the uh, information. Schedule release is for April 2024. Pre-orders open on January 12th. And it says here, the glowing back fins have been recreated with metallic coloring and Godzilla comes with a blue breath effect. Now, according to Monster Arts, it says that they use the film data or data uh, to craft every single detail possible, capturing the fur, muscles. <clears throat> Monster Arts, who are you trying to fool? We can definitely tell that you put the minimum effort into this there's no way you had access to the cgi model or if that was true godzilla would have definitely looked a lot better kong would have looked a lot different you would have gave us different face expressions uh, articulation would have been improved articulation would have been different we know that kong has problems with standing up correctly we know that Godzilla is not the best when it comes to the head sculpture and we know that the articulation can definitely be improved. You're not fooling anybody. This is the same figure you've been using since 2019. This is the same Kong from a few years ago. I see nothing worthy in this announcement. Honestly, it's laughable. Laziest job ever. And honestly, I really hope that other companies can deliver much better because if we're paying over $100, totally not worth it. This is a skip for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I just can't, guys. I just can't. I'm holding my laugh right now. This is... <laughs> I feel like this is a joke. I feel like this is a freaking joke. I can't take this seriously, guys. Honestly, I just can't. Uh... I'm pretty sure even I can do a better figure for Godzilla X Kong with my team. Honestly, <laughs> this is laughable. 
Ah, but I still can't believe there's people that support companies like this. Honestly, there's other people that deserve more respect than companies like this. Again, don't get me wrong. I like Monster Arts when they do an amazing job. But lately, we know that it's been so disappointing with Monster Arts. Very. Haya is the way to go. This is my thoughts as somebody who's been reviewing figures for over a decade and loves Godzilla. I can tell that this company has no passion behind this brand anymore. The figures each time get more lazier, disappointing. Very minimum effort is put into them with articulation and the paint job, the changes. When you truly care about something, you will deliver your very best work possible. To show that you care for this brand, to show your passion, your love, how much you care for those characters. This is what it's called to be a lazy worker with no passion behind it. To be honest, Monster Arts does not deserve the license for Godzilla. I'm just being honest. They really don't. I know there's people that are going to buy this. I know there's people that are going to support this because they never got a chance to get the Godzilla vs. Kong sets. But honestly, Haya Toys will be better and much cheaper way for them. Stop supporting lazy companies that don't give a shit and just want your money. I'm being honest and I'm talking from my heart as a Godzilla fan. It's time that we stop supporting this type of bullshit. Now that I'm not really on YouTube and now that I'm not monetized, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to speak to my heart and for quite some time, I have not been happy with Monster Arts and I have not purchased Monster Arts figures for five months or more. I have been going with Haya and other companies, creating my own figures. Honestly, guys, support people that have passion in the 3D world. People and companies that love Godzilla and deliver what has been promoted. It's been truly, truly sad. And I canceled my Godzilla Minus One pre-order from Monster Arts, even though people were... Saying, it's alright, it's not that bad. No, 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 no. You don't get the idea. If you show a product, you have to deliver the way you intend to show the product. It's like showing a car that has an amazing paint job. It's a super car. And when it's about to release, you get the car without any tires, without any engine. Does that make sense? Of course not. And the fact that people are saying it's okay... Like, how would it be okay to have a car without any wheels, without anything inside? It totally does not make sense. Guys, please stop supporting this bullshit. Wake up. Don't be a freaking sheep. And support other people that really put the dedication and hard work. This is laughable. This is really, really laughable. I'm out.